Welcome to the Arbor's Grounds. First floor, first room takes place on one floor, so let's keep going. The first dungeon with our Master Sword, and first dungeon in the second part of the quest, I guess. Armorer's Ground. This is pretty much the scary, the scary nightmares dungeon of the game, I, I guess. And it's also the desert dungeon. Pretty much half and half. It might be comparable to the Spirit Temple. It's pretty much a combination of the Spirit Temple and the Shadow Temple. That, um... I forget what these little skeleton dudes are called, but they do start with Stow. Because, well... Uh... So every skeleton enemy starts with the word... Start with the, uh, prefix. Bow. I was waiting for the little case you need it, and we're gonna need it. You might think heading back is gonna be easy. Well, it is. Easy as that. Oh, these guys, these little bugs will slow you down. Just shake them off like a bat. This is one of my favorite dungeons. Well, I like them all really. Um, I know these guys aren't called Stalchuk because Stalchuk comes up later, spoiler alert. Okay. Like the fourth dungeon in Ocarina, which was the fourth temple, and the fourth dungeon there, you had to look for four Poes in order to move on to the boss. Well, at least move on. Same thing here. We're looking for four Poes. It's pretty much the mission of the dungeon, like in the forest temple from this game, we had to um, get the monkeys, of course, from Ocarina we had to catch the foes, which is what we're doing here. And the golden mines, we had to look for the elders. And they give you one right off the bat, say, make it, instead of making this one last for some reason. So as you can see, they're a lot different from the regular pose. When they turn pink, attack them. And there's more than one round of attack. Same as always. Shoot out their hearts or their souls. So these do beat like hearts, if you listen. The souls are making heartbeats, so yeah. It's weird how they don't make that one the last one, but you know. And hunting for the pose is a bit better in Ocarina, because they all look different, and they have their own, um, real-like names, like jo Jolie, Beth, Amy, and Meg. Um, but these are just, all the four of these poses are just the same, or just the same. So yeah, the pose set. It only works for these poses, and not for all the other poses in the hub world. And yeah, killing these pose will actually count toward your pose count, so yeah. Okay, before we move on, the chests over here, yes. Oh yeah, only Human Link can open the big chest, but both forms can open the small ones. Easy blue hearts. I 
thing is, you really don't need the post set. You pretty much find them as you get along, but I suppose if it were your first time playing, you wouldn't need it. Because this is going to have people be mad. Oh look, the bubbles are back. That is a regular bubble. Hey, in this game, well, actually in all games except for Wind Waker, they have little wings, but you can see the wings best of all here. So yeah, um, really big room is going to be the boss, and it's kind of cool the boss is on the top floor anyway. Or at least the bottom floor, depending on what the kind of dungeon it is. But, like the uh, Lake Bend Temple on the top floor. Oh, stab! I didn't really... Well, I guess I did know, but I didn't quite remember you could stab them like that. Guess who's back? The Redead. And he's most annoying or the most challenging here. Cause he's his old screen stun works has a great effect. It stuns you for quite a while and it gives plenty of time to attack you. In this game he has a little club that he hits you with instead of just going on and strangling you. Which is sort of ironic for this game. I wish one's the real Poe. The one that's not attached to anything. The thing is, find the post here is really easy because these just take you halfway through the dungeon. Not the boss, which kind of sucks. A little cutscene of the uh, uh, fire going back to its torch. They all gotta be lit for the big door to open. And yeah, we'll play can open doors, or Minda can open them anyway because she has a really big hand growing out of her ponytail. Oh yeah, I never quite pointed that out, did I? That's kind of freaky having a, hand, having a hand for a ponytail. Oh well, it does often like that, huh? Epic Miss Link. Alright, so even if he's moving around, he still does a little stab attack, because he's technically powerless as he is. Bouncing around. Ah. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, all right. Wait. That probably wasn't my best idea. Or maybe it was. <laughs> okay, let's go. Fancy little statue. Oh, the fire bubble! He's 
back and he flies around instead of bounces like in Wind Waker. Okay, this is weird because we get the map and the compass before we get the new item. Um, this is one of the few dubs in this game that um, works that way. Oh, you gotta push this way. Oh, it only goes two ways. Kinda like that whole, um, kinda like that rim in, uh, Forest Temple from Ocarina. If you jump attack fast enough, he won't get ya. Yeah, I think of Red Ruby if you want. This guy shot Red Ruby. 